using the wilderness to inspire our art. Huh. I'm doing Zentangle. What have you got there? This is nice. some grasses on the edge of the lake. Mm -hmm. I like it. Well, let's take a look at this pack. I've been carrying about 70 pounds, nearly 70 pounds on this, on this trip so far with this thing, and this is what happened when we took it out of the canoe when we arrived here yesterday. That part's broken there. Used to attach right there. Big structural plastic piece that really is key to the waist, uh, waist belt here. See that one in like that? The snap goes in here like this. But I don't think that's really going to provide much support. Yeah, that's a pretty major failure. I don't know what we're going to do about this. We've been doing uh, uh, double portages so far. Uh, we may have to substantially lighten this pack up and maybe even do triple portages. We have we have uh, four more portages to go in the trip. All right, we'll do a little test here. I have about 30 pounds loaded in my pack just to see if this thing will still work just the way it is. Um, I have the snap attached like I should before. Let's see where, let's see what happens. Well, seems to be working okay. I guess we'll give this a shot. Uh, I don't see any really any other choice at the moment. So yeah, well, all right. We're on our uh, third day of the trip. We launched here at uh, Lois Lake and paddled up Lois Lake, and then did the 1,700 meter portage to Horseshoe Lake. Paddled Horseshoe Lake. Started raining about in here, and we paddled into Nanton Lake and spent the, our first night here at Nanton in the rain. And the tent leaked. And the tent leaked. Luckily we had a tarp to put over the tent. The tent has worn out. It's, it's served its useful life. <laughs> okay, then uh, yesterday we did the 2400 meter portage to Ireland Lake. It's a double portage. That was quite a bit of work. We basically just have too much stuff with us. Uh, lots of heavy packs and a lot of work. And it was raining. We did the Ireland Lake. Uh, Ireland Lake. And then we did the uh, 800 meter portage to Dodd Lake. Original, original plan was to go up Dodd Lake and then portage into Windsor and then up to Windsor and spend two nights here. We decided instead to just cut across the south end of Dodd Lake to Chipmunk Point uh, Camp and spent the night here. Uh, two nights here in fact. Very nice camp. Um, today, the th third day has been nice. It's been uh, mostly sunny. Had a nice time hanging out on the dock. Got to go swimming. Got to yeah. go swimming. Prepare some gear. We're drying we have, everything out. We have a very nice dock. We have also a very nice shelter to hang out in and cook. So we're enjoying our night here. Uh, tomorrow we're going to do the uh, 700 meter portage to Beaver Lake and then another 700 meter to Little Horseshoe and we'll spend the night there. These are both really good fishing lakes. So we'll uh, very, should be a fairly leisurely day, time for fishing. And then um, then we'll paddle and we'll portage about another 1,000 meters, 1,300 meters, uh, and then paddle down Horseshoe Lake and camp here. Uh, this is where we left our canoe cart, so we'll be able to pick that up and the next day uh, canoe cart down and paddle over Old Newest Lake and into Cartum Lake, spend our last night and then finally paddle back to our cars. We may decide to skip uh, Cartom Lake and just uh, head home a day early. It depends uh, how we feel. And uh, how the fuel holds out. And yeah. how the fuel holds out. And, <laughs> and how our arms hold out. Yeah. yeah. So that's where we are. Bad. That's the plan. Uh, about a third day, very nice day, and enjoying it.
Yeah, just lift the fire up. I'm gonna try to cook some sweet potatoes in it. Looks like that wood we found uh, earlier yesterday. It's pretty good stuff. Oh no! <laughs> Good enough for camping purposes. Can you get that on video? Yeah. Okay, next we'll throw on some pecans. sugar and some ghee which is basically a type of butter and we we'll attempt to wrap this all up <laughs> hopefully there is enough oil it is Barely enough foil. Nice to have about twice as much foil as that. All right, then into the coals. Probably got a little extra thickness there, so maybe we'll do 30, 30 minutes. Hey, I smell All right. Oh my goodness! Looks a little done. But overall, looks great. Bannock bread with huckleberries. Ooh, pretty good.